We will be looking at Microsoft business and some of the numbers, and then see too if the stock is worth owning in current market. We will cover all these points for better stock picking. Microsoft closed at $264.60, with the increase of 4.69% in the last trading session. Let's look at today's trend indicators. The moving average is bullish. Technical indication is in uptrend. And overall daily trend for the stock is in positive trend. Looking at weekly analysis, the weekly stock trend is in positive trend. Today's market fear in greed index is 72, which is indicating greedy emotion in the public sentiment. We usually look at this indicator to make our buy or sell decisions better. Microsoft gave 9.89% returns in the last week, 10.38% in the last 30 days, and three months returns are 13.99%. Now let's have a look at simple moving average data. Moving average indicates that what could be the next footprint of the stock price in near future? 5-day average is 251 with a bullish indication. 10-day is 246 with a bullish indication. 20-day average is 239, which is a bullish signal. Let's look at fundamental analysis. We will mainly see the last two quarters of the company. In September 22, the revenue was $50,122 million. In the recent quarter, December 22, it increased to $52,747 million. Now let's see the profitability of Microsoft in the quarter September 22. The profits were $17,556 million. And in the recent quarter, December 22, the profits declined to $16,425 million. Let's see debt numbers. Debt to equity number tells us how much the company is in debt. In the first quarter, it was 0.4. Then it decreased to 0.39. Then in third quarter, it again went down to 0.36. In the recent quarter, the debt score declined to 0.35. Generally, this ratio should not be over 2.0. This is today's buy or sell decision for the stock, which is purely based on the technical indicators. This is not a recommendation, but use this just as a guiding pointer for your stock picking.